Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today's look is an ombre brows tutorial and it's the brow look that I wear quite often. So what I'm doing is I'm starting with a very small angled brush and Collections Work The Colour Eyebrow Kit. I'm using the middle shade to draw a small line so I can see whereabouts I want my eyebrow to actually extend to. So I'm taking this to the start of the brow and using very light brush motions just to draw on a little bit more shape and then I'm taking this under the brow to create that more defined looking shape. So then I'm just going to take this towards the end of the brow and just darken it up and extend it a little bit because my brows are quite short and thin. And now I'm just going to use my finger just to make sure that there isn't any excess product and that all the hairs are going the right way. So I'm currently still using the same colour and I'm just going to darken up the centre part of my brow so just the bits between the lines I've drawn and then what I'll do later on is darken this up. So now I'm just going to use very light brushing motions towards the front of the brow to create little hairs and just to darken this up a little bit more because it's quite thin and sparse so I'd like it to be a little bit darker. Obviously I don't want the brow to be too dark because that looks really strange and I'd rather just have lighter and more realistic looking brows. So now I'm just taking a smaller brush and I'm going to use the darker colour from the Work The Colour Collection Eyebrow Kit and I'm going to just darken up the arch and the end of the brow to give that ombre effect. So now I'm just going to take Gimme Brow by Benefit in medium deep and I'm just going to darken up my brows even more and fix them in place. So this is like a tinted eyebrow mascara which works really really well to just make sure that you've filled in all of your brow so there's no bits that are still left a bit lighter. So once the brow mascara has dried, I then take the YSL Touche Eclat in number one just to clean up and make sure that there's no bits underneath where the powder might have fallen off. This also is really good for a highlight. So now I'm just going to blend it all out with my finger and then just make sure that there's no bits that look uneven. So once it's all blended in, you can see that your brow is left looking like this. So that's how I do my brows guys, I hope you like this. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.